Hey everyone and welcome to Mr. Bucket. Push your balls in my top by Mr. Bucket. Out of my mouth and will pop by Mr. Bucket. Walk and run by Mr. Bucket. A horror game about inanimate objects who want to be our best friends and definitely don't want to hurt us. So let's play it. Here I am, alone, on my island. This is definitely a parody of Castaway, 100%. Looks like we got Mr. Spear, Mr. Bowl, and Mr. Towel. Mr. Spear looking sharp today. <laughs> what a knee slapper. We got jokes. You like it? I'm so glad to hear that. I came up with it when I was showering yesterday, actually. Well, I don't shave either, and I think I'm holding up well, don't you? That's a very kind offer. I like my beard, but I'll genuinely consider it. Catch some fish? Well, sure. Ready when you are. I got Mr. Spear. Hello, Mr. Spear. Are you ready to catch Mr. Fish? Mr. Bull. Hiya, Mr. Bull. Wonderful weather we're having. We're definitely not insane. That's true. The sun is very bright today. Oh, sure. You know, I love your jokes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, Mr. Bull. What do you get when a horse, a dog, and a black guy walk into- Oh. I'm not sure I appreciate how your sense of humor is evolving, Mr. Bull. Yeah, me neither. I don't- Better stay off Twitter with that one. Today? We've got an oasis to plunder under that big tree on the west side of the island. I have Mr. Bowl now. Where did Mr. Spear go? Mr. Spear? Hello? I'm afraid I once again require your services, Mr. Towel. Well, a man does have to poop. Ha, <laughs> good one. I really appreciate it, Mr. Towel, seriously. Your sacrifice shall not be in vain, Mr. Towel. Godspeed. I know, I know. I'm going to make sure you have a day off soon, I promise. I'm actually not sure how taking turns would work. I'll think about it. One does have to poop. Where exactly do I poop? By this tree? Uh, I think I'm wiping my ass right now, but I'm not sure. It is using energy. It does look like I need food, water, sustenance in general. Hmm. I can run. Pick up Mr. Wiping Leaf. Mr. Tao can take a break now. Well, here are the fish, I think. Yeah. I require food. Um, I, I don't know where they went. I think I may have acc- oh, there we go. Aha! I caught a Mr. Fish. Alright, nice. I gotta figure out where to cook the fish. Hmm. Is there a Mr. Bonfire somewhere? A Mr. Grill? A Mr. Cook My Food For Me, Please? Uh-huh. Boy, howdy, I can't wait until things turn terribly south. I'm still trying to figure out how to poop. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. Mr. Box? No, no Mr. Box. Mr. Weird Shape Plant? Crack Coconut. Eat the coconut. I said eat it. That's not exactly eating it. Apparently I passed out. Things are spooky now. Bonfire? I'm drawn to it, like a moth towards the flame. I am the moth, and there be the flame. The music's a little unsettling.
<gasps> Is that the titular Mr. Bucket? No, Mr. Bucket. I thought I killed you long ago. What are you doing here? How'd you come back? No. Here we are again, fire and water at night. There was a time when you used me to put out these flames. Then you killed me. Weird how that works, huh? Well, what are you talking about? You're a bucket, you can't talk. But you died. Yes, you killed me. And I hate you. That's how it works. You're going to sacrifice something tonight, Michael. You're going to throw one of your friends into the flames. Or you're going to die. No, I won't do it. Not my best friend, Mr. Spear. I'm not doing this. It's not going to be hard. You've already done it, remember? You did it to me. Yeah, but you were evil, Mr. Bucket. You wanted to put my balls in your mouth. You just have a witness now. Press F to throw. No, Mr. Spear, my best friend! <gasps> and Mr. Towel. And Mr. Bull. No, I won't do it. I'd rather cast away myself. To the flames I go. He doesn't want to kill me that easily. He knows living with the pain is much worse than simply dying. No, I need you, Mr. Spear. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Towel. But I can wipe with leaves. Surely you understand. No! <laughs> oh, Mr. Towel! <laughs> My best friend. I'm passing out again. I desperately need water. And food. And a shit. Well, it's going to be hard, but we've been through worse, right? No, I don't think I've had to fight a ghost before. No, I don't think you've had to fight a ghost before. We'll fish, and we'll... well, we'll survive. We always do. Not without a fight, Mr. Spear. Mr. Bull. Hi. Intense night, right? That's so? I understand. I don't feel much like joking either. Mr. Bucket broke. I... I couldn't. We're gonna get through this. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah, let's get some water, buddy. That we should. Do I have any more friends on this island? It might just be the three. That terrible bonfire is still there. Damn you, Mr. Bucket. You monster. Ah, Mr. Toilet. <gasps> Mr. Bucket. You gonna watch me sh- <gasps> You dirty, dirty monster. Mr. Relieve Yourself. <laughs> nice. What a creep. Watching me poop. Mr. Mr. Chair? I don't remember you being here, Mr. Chair. You cut up a lot of us in the early days. Did you make it through all right? Was it worth it? Are you okay? I don't know if I've ever been okay, Mr. Chair. Mr. Bucket came back. He wants to hurt me. Yeah. I kind of figured that's why we're meeting again. For what it's worth... I'm not angry that you chopped me and my friends into pieces. I do have one question, though. If you're going to use me for firewood, why did you draw a face on me? I was lonely. I wanted to say sorry first. I wanted to have a con- <laughs> I wanted to have consistent branding standards. Hmm. Branding is very important, I suppose. Bye, Michael. I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. Goodbye, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair is oddly flat. He also follows me around, which is very unnerving. I'm full up now, but I really need to poop. Mr. Relieve Yourself! I need to relieve myself! Lest I shit my loincloth, please! Hopefully he's still there. Uh-oh. <gasps> there he is. Thank goodness.
I can't believe Mr. Bucket watches you poop. Now I just need water. This looks like fresh water over here. Right in this area. It's not necessarily attached to the ocean, so I'm assuming it's fresh water. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. I guess we just wait out the night now. There we go, perfect. I'm basically full up now. Can I talk to any more of my friends? I feel so bad for killing them. I've grown attached. I love my friends. They all have beautiful faces. Even though Mr. Bull is kind of racist, that's weird. Not sure if I necessarily trust and love him. Man, that's a big tree right there. Also, how come we didn't just use one of these trees for firewood? Why did we chop up Mr. Chair? That seems kind of cruel and unnecessary. Here we are, night two. And of course, Mr. Bucket and his vileness returns. You make me sick, Mr. Bucket. Making me burn, individuals. This is why I burned you. You were evil. And you just didn't know it. Unless you do know it. Yes, of course you knew it. Yes. You have to be evil. You are evil. Look at him. Sitting over there menacingly. He's looking at me with ill intent. I hate him. I hate him with every fiber of my being. No, Mr. Spear and Mr. Bull. Another night, another sacrifice. Do you miss any of them yet? Of course I do. Go frick yourself. You've been stranded on a desert island for 13 years, Michael. You didn't forget how to say fuck. Two friends left. Throw one in the flames. And I li and live another day. It's simple. Just the way you like it. Frick yourself, Mr. Bucket. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bull. You have to go. Mr. Bull. Come back. No! <laughs> Mr. Bull. I'll save you from the tyranny of Mr. Bucket. Mr. Spear. Oh, um, well, that's a big question. Bad things happen to good people and inanimate objects all the time. Yeah, that's how the world works. We just don't see it, because it's better not to look. I know you can't look away, Mr. Spear. I didn't draw you with eyelids. Sorry about that. Oh, Mr. Spear. I'll try to protect you, bro, but I think you're dying tonight. I think Mr. Bucket's gonna make me burn every single one of my friends. The final night. Mr. Spear is gone. Please, Mr. Bucket, I'll do anything. Don't kill Mr. Spear. He's the best one. He's the goodest boy. And my best friend. Please. He's gonna burn him. I don't have a choice. Damn. Look at that vile creature over there. Just despicable. You know how this works. Only one friend left. Take me instead. 
Excuse me? You can take me instead. Just let them go. No. No, 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 no. You aren't doing this. You will not pull some noble bullshit in the face of your own judgment. You are here now because of everything that you are and were. You're a selfish, oblivious mess talking to debris at the end of the world to convince yourself that someone can love you. I hope you remember that when you send your final friend to hell. Damn, Mr. Bucket. Man has no chill. I'm so sorry, Mr. Spear. No. How am I going to eat and poop now? I have nothing left to live for. All my friends are dead. Mr. Bucket made me kill them all. I have to shit so bad. Everything is going to hell. Mr. Bucket? Here you are. Dead. You ran and ran and ran until you didn't have anything left. I wonder what will feed on your legs. Don't you? I feel like this game has multiple endings, so I will be right back. Sup, little guy? Mr. Boombox? Single song ass mother trucker. Okay, he is very hostile. Your words, not mine. Well, look, I've got a gun now. Oh, he has a gun. You ungrateful son of a bitch. Uh, oh, we, we, we can talk about this. You kept playing living on a prayer. <laughs> You ran out of batteries. Uh, we, we can talk about this. We are talking, and I am unhappy. There is a clear set of decisions that have brought us to this friggin' point. You know what? You aren't worth the bullet. Damn. That's harsh. I'll see you in hell. Damn. We hate you. Well, that's good to know. Uh, there's Mr. Bucket. I do like how Mr. Bucket sort of just follows you around the map as you explore it. He basically watches you from the shadows. I think that's a nice touch. I'm not really sure what I need to do today. Besides maybe eat and poop? I don't know. It's a day without friends. Mr. X. When you pulled me from the wreckage of that plane, I thought you were saving me. Then you slammed my face into a tree. Isn't that what you were made for, though? I think I broke the... I think I broke on the third swing? Second swing? It was a pretty pathetic attempt, is what I'm trying to say. I was never great at chopping wood. I'm sorry, Mr. X. When I broke, you just left me on the sand. Does that sound like sorry to you? I don't want to talk to you, man. No one does. Oh, <laughs> I suck. It's the final night, and I have no friends left. What does Mr. Bucket want from me? I'm disheveled. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I haven't wiped my ass in days. I stink to high heaven. I don't know what a shower is. Please just kill me. This is hell. I just want my suffering to end. Cast me in the fire. Do it. Please, Mr. Bucket, I can't take this anymore. 13 years is far too long to be on an island by myself. Especially with a demon like you. You're really alone now. Why didn't you just kill me? You're better this way. There's something beautiful in your eyes when you're broken. I told you, man, he was pure evil. Do you trust me, Michael? Frick you. 
You need to walk into the fire, Michael. It won't kill you. I'm not allowed to do that. But you can be seared. And then we're done. No more bonfires. You can go back to your camp, but I don't recommend it. You've come too far to just die, don't you think? Burn myself. Cast myself into the flame. Ah! It burns! Torch? Numerous torches. That are leading me to the bonfire. This was your plan all along, Mr. Bucket, to cast me out. To cast me away. I don't like how ominous this seems. I'm perturbed by this. What are you going to do with me, Mr. Bucket? Again, I suppose death is too easy. Oh, I really am being cast away. I was joking. I suppose I'm banished now. Hello, Mr. Bucket, for hopefully the final time. I feel like this raft isn't going to go very far. The raft is for you. I won't leave. You can't stay. The island is running out of resources, Michael. If you don't leave this place, it will eventually reject you. What happens next? You're going to sail. You'll pray for land. Maybe you'll even find it. This island isn't yours anymore, so you're going to leave. Goodbye, Michael. May your last trip be the one you need. I hate you, Mr. Bucket, with every fiber of my being. It's the final sacrifice, Michael. Make it a good one. You'll never get away with it! I'll be avenged! Just you wait. Bon voyage, dickhead. I killed a bucket on an island far away. I didn't mean to do it. I don't know what to say. And now I'm on a raft and cast adrift at sea. I am here alone, like I tend to be. I am. I am. I am. I am. The person you forgot. The person who forgets. I came here long ago. No one's come searching yet. I talk to buckets, chat to spears, converse with bulls. And now I'm in the ocean. Where I'll... Die alone, I am. I am. I am. I am. The person you forgot, the person who forgets. Pain is like an island. I'm finally leaving it. That was a big bucket. The end. What a morbid story.